Malviya of the Bharatiya Janata Party also joins us. Mr. Malviya, Arvind Kejriwal has been summoned by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Will you continue to press your demand for his resignation? Well, it is not unexpected or unusual for Arvind Kejriwal, who happens to be the Chief Minister of Delhi, to be summoned by the agency in the massive liquor scam that has unfolded in Delhi. As the Chief Minister, he is responsible for all the decisions his cabinet takes. And it's Manish Sosodia, as Deputy Chief Minister, was the one who was driving this entire scam. Then it's quite unlikely that Arvind Kejriwal did not have a role in it. Also, there seems to be a lot of evidences that are emerging which indicate that Arvind Kejriwal could be complicit. Latest being uh, the reference to the crore being delivered to the daughter of uh, Telangana Chief Minister at the behest of Arvind Kejriwal. We have Vijay Nair, a close associate of Arvind Kejriwal, who is in the ED net. So there are a lot of things that lead up to Arvind Kejriwal's doorstep. And uh, let him cooperate with the agency as the Chief Minister of Delhi, as a responsible, law-abiding citizen, which I am hope, I'm hoping he is. Uh, he should cooperate with the agencies and um, let the investigation unfold. Uh, but Mr. Malviya, the Amadmi Party continues to maintain, and a lot of the parties appear to have rallied alongside the Amadmi Party, perhaps with the exception of the Congress, when it comes to the liquor gate matter. And they've alleged that this is nothing but a malified intent on the part of the BJP and the ruling dispensation, which is using these agencies against members of the opposition to intimidate them. Look, if corruption is going to be the rallying point for opposition, then the country is watching them. As far as the allegation that agencies are being misused is concerned, both uh, Satendra Jain and Manish Sisodia continue to be in jail uh, for several weeks and months now, despite they approaching the courts for relief. The courts seem to have found Prama Pasai evidence of their involvement, their complicity in these camps, and that is why they have not been given bail. So political rhetoric aside, uh, we are a country uh, run by rule of law, and if there is uh, evidence to suggest that uh, Manish Sasodia was responsible for unleashing the scam on Delhi, uh, then naturally as Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind K. Jival also will be uh, questioned. So let the agencies do their work. We have a very robust judicial process. The courts are there. If somebody feels aggrieved, they can seek relief. But the fact that they're not getting relief should tell you that uh, there is prima facie uh, corruption and being an opposition does not mean you have immunity from investigation in cases of corruption. And, and Mr. Malve, now that we're getting news that a sitting chief minister of Delhi is being summoned for questioning by a central agency with respect to the liquor gate matter, uh, the, some leaders of the BJP in the past have said that Arvind Kejriwal's position as CM is untenable given the circumstances. Will that demand now only intensify now that he's been summoned? Well, let the investigation happen and uh, as facts emerge, uh, naturally the demand for him stepping down would uh, gather steam. But like I said, as Chief Minister of Delhi, he is responsible for all the decisions that his uh, cabinet takes and therefore it is quite unlikely that uh, he will be able to uh, pull himself away from this massive corruption. And naturally somebody who's corrupt and likely to get convicted cannot continue as the chief minister. Thank you, Mr. Malviya, for your response.